Greetings and welcome to ValoU. I'm Zaladrith and I'll be your instructor for today. Today's class is Mechanics 210, Strafe Shooting. Strafe shooting is a movement technique that allows you to weave accurate shots during movement. From what we learned about movement inaccuracy, as long as your velocity is at or close to zero, your shots have accuracy as if you're stationary, as you can see from the yellow bars in the accuracy graph on the right. When you change direction, your velocity gradually goes from a positive to negative value, guaranteeing that it'll cross zero at some point. Consistent strafe shooting is all about learning the timing of when your velocity is zero as you change directions. Strafe shooting is often confused with counter strafing, to the point where nowadays people sometimes use the terms interchangeably. Technically though, counter strafing refers to how tapping the movement key opposite of the direction you're moving allows you to reach stationary accuracy faster than letting go of your movement key. In some games, counter strafing is a critical skill, but the roughly 20 milliseconds of advantage in Valorant isn't really worth practicing for, so we'll leave that discussion for another class. Anyways, if you're learning how to strafe shoot for the first time, start out by turning on your shooting inaccuracy graph, heading to the practice range, and buying a marshal. We use the marshal because anything other than stationary accuracy while no scoped is extremely inaccurate, and easier to see than always trying to watch the graph. Before setting up targets, first get used to alternating just A and D, always holding down exactly one movement key, so you're pretty much always in motion. Make sure each of your strafes makes at least one audible step. Now, about a tenth of a second after you switch from holding D to holding A, fire one bullet from your marshal. If you get the timing right, the graph will show only a yellow bar, but if you're too early or too late, it'll show a larger blue bar. Now, keep repeating by holding right, left fire, holding right, left fire. Remember that these big steps are important, since it lets you take the time to focus on the timing, while not giving yourself bad habits like taking strafes that are too small. And if you feel like you're not ready to hit a timing, it's better to just wait until the next strafe rather than trying to rush it. Once you learn the timing and can hit a strafe shot at least 50% of the time consistently, you can try turning on some stationary bots and aiming at the rightmost bot. Don't bother tracking the bot for now. Try to strafe into your shot with a little micro flick right when you change directions. Also, don't really worry about missing the bot either. The most important thing here is just reinforcing the timing. Accuracy with your micro flicks can come later. As you get used to aiming at a target, now you can try learning the strafe shooting timing the other way while aiming at the leftmost bot. Holding left, right fire, Holding left, right fire. Once you're comfortable with that direction as well, you can try shooting on every strafe. And once again, if you feel like you're about to miss the timing, just wait until the next strafe and keep taking those big steps. Once you eventually practice enough to hit strafe shots pretty consistently on the big steps, you can try shortening your strafes until your firing rate reaches the max speed a marshal can fire. Eventually, you'll get used to the marshal and you can upgrade to the sheriff, which has a faster fire rate. To learn to strafe shoot with it, fire while stationary to see how fast the shots can go without losing too much accuracy, and then practice away. Once you get comfortable with single shots at sheriff's speed, you can upgrade over to the vandal. When you're using a rifle, you generally want to spray within 15 meters, but once you're past that, you generally want to strafe shoot. Since accuracy falls off sharply after 3 bullets, let's first try practicing strafe shooting with 3 bullet strafes. You'll have to let go of your movement key, however, while you're doing this burst firing. If it helps with your timing, you optionally can counter strafe to get used to full stop timing. The trickiest part here though is knowing when you can start accelerating again without losing accuracy. Remember that you don't lose accuracy as fast when you're accelerating as opposed to decelerating, so try to start moving as you fire your last bullet to really minimize the time that you're stationary to the bare minimum. Once you're comfortable with strafe shooting in 3 shot bursts, you can try strafe shooting in the same direction. Always alternating direction makes you very predictable even if you're a moving target. However, strafing in the same direction might feel like an entirely different timing, so this variation on strafe shooting often takes special practice. Once you're comfortable with all of these things, you can try mixing up the number of shots in a burst and the width of your strafes. Remember that shooting more bullets in a burst will require a longer time for your gun accuracy blue bars to reset, which allows you to weave in larger strafes. A more erratic firing tempo and random strafe distances will make you a much more difficult target to hit when you finally master all of the above techniques. In summary, strafe shooting is a movement technique where you weave accurate shots during movement. Counter strafing refers to tapping the opposite movement key from the direction you're moving to become accurate faster than just letting go of the movement key, which isn't that important in Valorant. Use the marshal when initially learning how to strafe shoot and go for yellow bars in the inaccuracy graph. Strafe shoot timing is firing about 0.1 seconds after changing directions. Take big strafes while practicing to avoid bad habits. Minimize the time that you're stationary when burst firing to also avoid bad habits. You can strafe shoot in the same direction. And finally, you can mix up the duration of your bursts and distances of your strafes to make yourself an unpredictable target. 
That's all for today's lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the lecturer or the TAs in the comments below. Thanks for attending, and we hope you enjoy your stay here at Value.